<laughs> no, it is a great day for America, everybody, and I'll tell you why. Uh, today I read a story of great heroism. Uh, uh, Mary in Maryland, you know Maryland, where, where you get the crabs. Maryland... <laughs> as opposed to Vegas. Maryland. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Mary, the, the state senator there, uh, John Gianetti, he's, he's waiting at a takeout uh, restaurant. He's waiting for food. Uh, for, you know, something to eat. Food, you know. Uh, <laughs> and he sees a guy choking on seafood. And he runs over and he saves the guy's life using the Heimlich maneuver. He does it. Uh, and it turns out the guy who he saved was his political rival, John Rosa Pepe. He, sa he saved his rival. Now, the guy he saved was a Democrat. So, I'm not surprised the Democrat choked, but still. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Do not judge me. I didn't lose two elections to George Bush. It was somebody else. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even participate. I don't have my citizenship yet. I'm like the UN. I'm just an observer. <laughs> For now. But you know these guys were just local politicians, because, you know, national politicians, real, you know, grown-up politicians, they wouldn't stand in line for their food. They have food delivered to their office, where assistants chew it up for them and spit it in their mouth. <laughs> like little birds, they just... There you go, Senator. Just how you like it. <laughs> ah, thank you. Ah. I... <laughs> oh, man. I, I just grossed myself out. Like, you know, like a seagull. Anyway, I have never performed the Heimlich Maneuver. Well, I have once or twice. I've performed the Heimlich Maneuver, but there was no one there. I just did it on my own. <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> I, no, I have never performed the Heimlich Maneuver. Never had to. But I have developed my own maneuver. The Ferguson Maneuver. Uh -huh. It only works on women. But it... <laughs> won't save your life. And it uh, doesn't last that long, though. And... <laughs> And it makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> Sometimes makes me feel a bit hungry. <laughs> Sometimes a bit sleepy. <laughs> Sometimes I get a bit weepy and I just don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes I just get dressed and keep driving. I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> You know, sometimes you go too far. I know, I went too far. I'll try and bring it back. Anyway, the two guys, one saves the other guy with the Heimlich maneuver. They're political rivals. They're supposed to be rivals. How are they going to handle the campaign? How are you going to... Because you know the campaign is going to turn negative. They always do. But what are they going to say? My opponent may have saved my life, but he'll ruin yours by raising taxes. <laughs> Can you really trust a man who eats seafood carelessly? <laughs> Not right for scallops, not right for America. <laughs> I don't like negative campaign ads. I, 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 don't, I don't like negative political campaigns. I, I'm against it. I am going to start a negative campaign against negative campaign ads right here. <laughs> negative campaigns are not my cup of tea. I'm still working on it. I'll make it worse. <laughs> I, think, I think politicians shouldn't focus on what their opponent has done or hasn't done. They should talk about what they're going to do, right? Tell us what you're going to do. What are you going to do? Not what they've done. What are you going to do? You don't see me trying to win you over by attacking my rival, do you? My deadliest rival, sleep. <laughs> ah, sleep, we meet again. <laughs> sleep may promise you health and beauty, but it also gives you bed, head and morning wood. There you are. Actually, I've noticed that's beginning to taper off as I get older. <laughs> I just mentioned it. Uh, do you, I think I've overshared again. Sometimes I overshare and I think I ju that just happened. Anyway, I don't have much experience with American politics. Uh, yeah, I, I was uh, on Bill Maher's old show. You remember the show Political?